The true test of the Large Hadron Collider will come in the first two months of 2010, when scientists plan to start deliberately crashing protons into each other to see what they can discover about the makeup of the universe and its tiniest particles. So it's a big emotion because it's at the same time for me the end of, of a phase and the beginning of another phase. It's the end of 20 years of efforts of uh, the international scientific community to build a machine and detectors of unprecedented complexity and uh, technological challenges and is the beginning of, uh, I hope, a fantastic uh, uh, era of, uh, of physics exploitation, of discovery, which I hope will change really the, the physics uh, textbooks. Ultimately, the collider aims to create conditions like they were one trillionth to two trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. Physicists also hope the collider will help them see and understand other suspected phenomena, such as dark matter, antimatter, and supersymmetry. The protons are traveling on Monday at almost the speed of light, 11,000 times a second in each direction, around the 17-mile tunnel under the Swiss-French border at Geneva. Initial signs are very good. The beam is of superb quality with the protons tightly packed into hair-like lines and guided by some 1,600 superconducting magnets operating at temperatures colder than outer space for maximum electrical efficiency. So far, the machine is operating at 450 billion electron volts of energy, which is relatively low compared with its design capability of more than 14 times that. Physicists say the discoveries could begin to develop in the first half of next year. Oh, now this is, uh, now, now.